I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and what we're doing is answering comments to the videos in these shorts. This one is from Herald Servers 1482, and it came in on one of my live streams on April 10th, 25. It says, hey Dave, enjoy your answering questions for all of us new hams. You do a great service. My question regards grounding. Where I live, the dirt is only about 12 inches deep and then limestone. Is it possible to use a 6x6 wire mesh for grounding the shack and the antennas? I would not recommend it unless you've got a mesh that is that's actually welded together. Just a weave won't do it because there's enough moisture in the soil to start building up corrosion around where the weaves touch each other. Now, there is an option here. This is from this book, Grounding and Bonding for the Radio Amateur, which is the ARRL's, if you will, source of truth for grounding in amateur radio. Now, this shows ground rods driven all the way down, a minimum of 8 feet, with the whole 8 feet under the ground. Now, in the event that you have problems with uh, rock bottom, something like this, try and get this at least 2.5 inches deep. Lay the ground rod right on top of the rock, and then bring the wire up like that. Or, if you've got a couple feet, you can come in at an angle like this so that this is a little easier to top. I would recommend this if you've only got a foot of soil. Now, one other thing to think about. Your utility ground may be what's called an oofer ground, U-F-E-R. It's actually the guy's name who invented this. He was doing some work for the Army way out in the Arizona desert, and you've got that problem with the rocks out there. And so he put a long rod inside the concrete of the building and it comes up where it can be grounded to. That's an oofer ground. I'd look a little bit more at that, but there might be one on your house if you've got a pad floor and something like that. So something to look for. Usually it just comes up at one point though, and that would be where the electrical entrance panel is. So I'd try this and then bond them to the utility ground and follow the procedures for connecting to the green wire ground in your shack. So I hope that helps. There you have it. Till we next meet, 73.